Now that we've moved away from the United States, we're going to discuss pepper spray laws throughout countries and the rest of the world. To be honest, before I did research, I actually used to think that just about all countries in the world outside the U.S. pretty much banned pepper spray because I know a lot of countries, especially in Europe, actually consider pepper spray to be a weapon and to be pretty hazardous. But surprisingly, it's actually pretty split in terms of laws among the countries, as you'll soon see. The good thing is that for the 25 countries where pepper spray is legal, whether with or without restrictions, that means that this entire course is extremely helpful for you. So moving on to the countries where it's legal and without restrictions, we've got 14 countries in total. This includes Austria, India, Israel, Serbia, Poland, Philippines, etc. Moving on to countries where it's legal with restrictions, we've got 11 different countries. This will actually be the basis for this video. We'll go through each country and go over the specific restrictions. And lastly, for people who unfortunately live in these 16 countries, you cannot have pepper spray because they limit it only to the police and typically consider pepper spray to be hazardous and also a dangerous weapon. So if you have it, then you'll either get fined, it'll, it'll get confiscated, or you could even serve jail time. So don't even bother with any of these. Now to start, we'll talk about Finland. Possession in Finland requires a license. As of 2010, the Finnish Supreme Court actually ruled that owning a pepper spray is not a punishable act. But carrying one, however, can be considered possessing a device that can harm other people. So depending on your situation, things can get a little complicated. Moving on to France. Pepper spray is legal for anyone over the age of 18, as long as you purchase it in an armory or a surplus store. It's considered a Category 6 weapon. I think there's maybe 9 or 10 different categories in France, and Category 6, last I checked, was considered knives. So, it's really weird, but they can, I don't know why, but they consider pepper spray to be equivalent to that of a knife, I guess, even though it's a non-lethal device, but interesting thing is that it's considered an offensive weapon if it's over the legal amount of 100 milliliters, or 3.38 ounces, but if it's, if it's under that, it's still considered a Category 6 weapon, but it, it's safe. You don't have to worry about getting fined or anything, but if you happen to have one that's over 100 milliliters, or uh, 3.38 ounces, then it is punishable by confiscation and potentially a fine as well. For Germany, pepper sprays that are labeled for use against animals, such as bear spray and uh, dog spray, those can be carried by anyone. Now, if you go to a protest with pepper spray, then you're looking at a possible arrest, so I would not recommend that. Pepper sprays in Germany must be properly labeled uh, there's Animal Defense Spray or have the Material Testing Institute or MPA seal. Pepper spray is permitted for use in self-defense. In Hungary, pepper spray is typically reserved for law enforcement and civilian auxiliary forces. But civilians may possess pepper spray if it's no bigger than 20 grams or 0.71 ounces, which Again, you're looking at about a keychain pepper spray size. No restrictions for pepper gas pistols. Moving on to Italy, pepper spray may not contain more than 20 milliliters or 0.68 ounces, which is keychain pepper spray, 10% OC or 2.5% in capsaicin. It has to be sealed when sold and a safety feature must be implemented against accidental discharge. Can't contain any flammable, corrosive, toxic, or carcinogenic substances, and no other aggressive chemical compound than OC itself. So that also includes tear gas, CSCN. 
can't have a distance greater than 3 meters or 9.8 feet, which is enough because most assaults happen between 6 to 8 feet anyway, so you're clear on that. In Japan, there are no specific laws against possession or use, but the user could be imprisoned depending on how much damage is caused to the target, meaning that if the person has an asthma attack or some other problem or complication, then that person is looking at being in some trouble. Portugal, you can purchase if you don't have a criminal record. Requires a police-issued permit in order to purchase, own, or carry pepper spray. You can only have up to 5% OC concentration. CS or tear gas is illegal. And moving on to Romania, according to Penal Code in 2012, pepper spray is banned in a couple of different locations. Sporting and cultural events and public transportation and entertainment venues. Everything else is fair game. Slovakia. It's classified as a self-defense weapon, legal for anyone over the age of 18, but not legal for use against humans. So that's, that's a problem if you uh, want to actually have it for self-defense against other people. South Korea. Pepper sprays containing OC are legal, Gas gun types, they do require a license to possess. CS is only available for police and private security firms. So you can't have any tear gas. It has to be pure OC concentration. Thailand, the last one on the list. Legal and freely available in stores. Public possession can be punishable with confiscation and a fine. So if you're going to have it, then you better conceal it if you're out in public or just keep it at home, which doesn't really serve much of a purpose if you can't use it when you're being assaulted. That's the end of this session and pretty much the end of this course. I hope you enjoyed the course and hope that you gained a ton of knowledge that you hadn't had about pepper sprays beforehand. If you have any questions or thoughts or issues that you're coming across, feel free to get in touch with me. I'm freely available. Yeah, just shoot me a line and uh, I'll get back to you. Thanks.